Welcome back to the Late Night Gamer and we are continuing with Napoleon Correction from previous episodes When I bought this recruit I forgot to pay two supplies So I only have two supplies left Right, so let's advance the turn counter And there are three turns left including this one So we are... Yeah, we are in a hurry I would say Okay, so now for my move actions, I have a few options open to me. I can go into Arcole and envelope these guys pretty easily. If I do that, I would be open to attacks from both of these regions. They have 8 supply points left. They will lose... How many will they lose for, uh, during the battle? Four. So they will add two to the die roll and that means that they have, they have a very very high likelihood of advancing on me if I'm here. They will probably do that and I, I'm not sure I can take an attack from all of these three stacks and survive. The other option I have is to go into Lonato. But then I need to leave some forces behind because these guys will either attack here or follow me into Lonato. If I go into Lonato though, the maximum number of units that can attack me would be these two stacks here. So, okay, so I thought about this for quite some time now and I think I want to go into Arcola with all my units because if I go here, I open up the road to mount two of for this uh, units up here, and I can't afford to defend Montua. So I do this for my move order. I take every unit I have and go into Arcola. I need to leave this guy behind because I need somebody to occupy Montua so that I can get resupplies from that region and I need to move these cannons from Genoa into Mantua as well and this guy has to occupy Genoa but if he goes into Mantua I will have a 3 unit there but I will lose 3 points here so let's do that if I, I don't need to occupy Genoa to win the game either it's not an objective and then this region here is a little bit stronger and I can have this guy go in the original movement into this region here that was my movement step now we need to resolve this battle so of course I envelope them but I want to roll uh, for fog of war first I need to roll that for fog of war first because something may happen and when I do that, they have 8 supply points, so they will use 4 supply points and add 4 to their roll. That's 8, that's 12, and I need to add 1 enemy garrison to the battle. It has a combat value, oops, sorry, it has the, the enemy garrison has a combat value of 5. The 2 units in the battle are a 4, are a four and a 2. Uh, how much is that? 9... That's 11, so I need 33 battle points in order to envelope them. That's 20, that's 30, so I have more than enough, I have more than 33 points. So I do envelope them. Back on in our call, I have 3 cannons. Ah, uh, it's not a big force, is it? So now I can do a force march. And actually I think I want to do that. I'm force marching this, this cannon, and I pay 1 supply point, so I only have 1 supply left. I can't force march Garnier because I need to occupy Mantua and I'm forfeiting 3 supply points this round so now I do get to do a resupply yeah so I have 3, 6, I have, I'm down to 9 supply points and I'm using 4 of them to, to uh, fit these guys up to full strength and what's the cheapest unit I can get? I can get this recruit and place him here in Mantua. That leaves me with four supply points. I'm actually buying another recruit. Yeah, I'm buying this recruit for three points. 
I should have put him, I'm putting him with Napoleon. Eight, nine, and then, we spend, and then I have spent this supply. Now I am completely out of supplies again. <laughs> okay, enemy orders. The enemy has four supply points. That means that they will spend two and add two to the roll. I, again, I'll do this so I remember it. Stacks of three and three. Well, they have three stacks. Let's see what this guy will do. This guy is here in Adich. That's a 1 plus 2. That is actually just a 3. I think I was lucky there because they will hold. They are holding their position. Okay, let's look at Melas, the Melas stack here. That's 9 plus 2. <laughs> they do not hold. That's 12. No, that's 11. That's 11. They will advance. And that's what they'll do. They advance straight down on me. And are they supported with these guys? Let's see. 3 plus 2 is 5. They go to a random. Yeah, they go to a random uh, uh, space. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. On the 10 I reroll. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They go into a ditch. Ah. That was a lucky roll, was it not? Yeah, that was a lucky, uh, lucky order around for me. Um, now we uh, resolve this battle. I can take them on in small stacks. That's excellent. With two supply points, they do not add anything to the roll. And they roll a four. Uh, this is not... Uh, if, if I only had supplies left, that would have been great because I can pay two supplies to add to any French recruit to any French occupied area as we did before. I don't have that, so I only get... Uh, well, so nothing happens here, but uh, the battle will last for three rounds. Now we do an envelope check. Well, they are not too strong. Seven, eight, nine. They have nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means that if I have more than 27 points, and I do have more than 27 points. So, and I even have a more st uh, another stack. So I do envelope them. I eat up all their forces. Wow, great. Perhaps I have a chance after all. We are um, in the enemy resupply step and they hold two, still they hold two cities. So let's roll for Milan. That's a one. And it means that they will add one fortification to Milan. Ah, that was not so good, but okay. And in Klagenfurt, they roll a 4, and that is one reinforcement in Klagenfurt. I'm closing my eyes. I'll have this one. Oh no, it's a cavalry, it's a strong cavalry in Klagenfurt. Well, that was it for this round. See you next time.